Ormond White Flowers from Dossier. This is mm, my jam this month. Starbucks. Can you see me? It's so so bright. I was gonna say it's so sprite. <laughs> we are getting oatmeal though. I'm not getting coffee. I've had plenty of that today. I hope this video is just inspiring to you to get on it. Get on it. I love their blueberry oatmeal. It is my favorite. Obviously, it comes with blueberries, but it also comes with agave, which is so delicious. I usually just put one of these in here. And then it comes with papitas, what else is in here? It's fruit and nut melody. I mean, look at that. So my goal today in today's vlog was first of all, just to say hey, because it's been a minute. But anyway, also it's January 9th and I feel like I always take that first week in January. I'm not that girl that's like, January 1st, let's rock it. No, I'm still enjoying my Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm chilling at that time. So Danny and I took down our Christmas tree yesterday. I cleaned the house a little bit. Still kind of need to do that this weekend, but we got all the Christmas stuff out. I'm off today and tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, and I just want to relax but also get some shit done. So I wanna make my vision board. I've already created like a Pinterest board, so I just need to print everything out, which we're going to get printer ink right now. I wanna get some plants. I wanna meal prep tomorrow with you guys a little bit, so I'm gonna get some groceries, and then that's pretty much it. I feel like I always try to do so much on a vlog with you guys, and then they're like 40 minutes long. So I'm gonna kinda of try to keep it a little bit short. We're just gonna hang out and get ready for the week. And I hope it inspires you guys and makes you feel like getting your life together a little bit with me. So I'm gonna mow down on this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Me and Mariah. Me and Mariah. <laughs> Right, everything I need, I'm realizing, is literally like the grocery store and the plant store are across the street. Best Buy, Michaels, and World Market are all right here that I'm going to. I'm like, this is gonna be the easiest errand day ever. Printer ink, check. I'm gonna cross off poster board because that's what we're walking in to get. Look at us crossing our stuff off. I just love making a vision board. Ever since I did it last year, I know it helped me really envision what my goals were every single day and just keep them top of mind. So I'm definitely doing it again. Okay, poster board. Look like an honest copy paste. Swarm around my head, look the way he goes. All right, now it's time for World Market. I want to find taper candles that are baby blue. For like the holidays, I had red. Before that, for um, Halloween, I had black and white. The winter until it's spring, I wanna find baby blue. And I know World Market has them. If they don't have baby blue though, I'm gonna try Hobby Lobby. That's exactly what I need. I need eight. Going with navy. Ooh, I had to get out of there. Target's my favorite, but World Market is a close second. They have so much cute stuff. Okay, printer ink we got, poster board we got, taper candles we got. So all I need now is some plant pots and plants and the groceries. You guys, we are flying through our errands. Mom, yeah, I want to record your... This is new, it's so beautiful. This is what I came for, the babies. Yes, I have all my small pots. Hi. Hi, Cooper. <laughs> so cute. I 
feel like they must keep it cool in, or hot in there for the plants because I'm dying of heat and it's like 60 outside. <laughs> I felt so weird recording their little wiener dog puppy, but I had to because I'm like, I need to show YouTube friends. Did you see him? Every time I go in this store, they always have weenies in there. And so it just like plants, wiener dogs. How can you not love it? Okay, groceries are last. Okay, I didn't vlog in Trader Joe's because it's always so busy in there. So I figured we would just do a little grocery haul, but the lighting is bothering me. So I need to change that. I got flowers. They have the best flowers. Mmm, smells so good. That's better. The light's just weird right now. So I'm gonna cut these first. It's playoffs, so there's Danny. <laughs> I'm gonna use my new vase. This is thrifted. I'm supposed to be saving it for a surprise I haven't told you guys about, but I'm gonna use it for myself because it's so pretty. sweet potatoes. I just like to chop them up for breakfast with eggs and avocado. It is so delicious. I got me some sprouted bread and I got Danny sourdough it's here somewhere. You can hear what I got too, babe. I got dried cranberries and I like these ones because usually they add sugar and these are no sugar added. And so they're a little bit better for you, but I thought these would be really yummy in salads. I got some honey roasted sliced almonds for salads. So delicious. I got a cucumber. I like chopping this up and eating it with hummus. Bell pepper, because I'm gonna make some taco salad, like Mexican style salad, so I wanted some bell pepper. Some mushrooms. Here's the bread. Danny likes sourdough. I got zucchini. I wanna make some zoodles. I always forget about zoodles, and whenever we do it, we love it, so I got that. I got more eggs. I love when I'm trying to eat really healthy and like have healthy snacks readily available. Boiled eggs are so easy. This is for Danny's lunch. <laughs> Sharp cheddar cheese snack pack style. Feta, if you have a Trader Joe's next to you, I love this one. It's the Mediterranean herb one and it's so good. And then I just got two grapefruits. I used to eat these a lot for breakfast, like slice one in half and put a little stevia on it. Um, and you know, you just switch up what you do, but my client told me it's really good for like your lower belly pooch and that is what I struggle with. So I figured I would add this back into my routine for breakfast and maybe it'll help. We already had um, like spinach and mixed greens, but we didn't have any romaine. And again, I wanna do like taco salad. So I got some romaine. This is again for Danny's lunch. I've had way too much cheese over the holidays. This is just sliced pepper jack for his lunches. Milk for Danny. Again, I don't really drink milk. Again, for Danny. He's so lucky, I got him all these thoughtful things. These are like pre-packaged almonds, chocolate, and cashews little trail mixes. Trader Joe's has probably like six different styles of these little pre-packaged trail mixes they do. They have a ton of options and they're great to just like throw in your purse too, to just have one in case you get hungry when you're on the go. So you know how I had that oatmeal at Starbucks this morning with the pepitas in it? So I got some pumpkin seeds so I can make mine at home. Also why I got the dried cranberries, because you can do blueberries, you can do whatever you want obviously, but I thought it'd be good with these dried cranberries, a little honey or agave. I think I have agave and some oatmeal, so that'd be really yummy. And you could also obviously do salads with these. Again, <laughs> Danny's lunch, salami and turkey. Got some broccoli, whoa. Got some broccoli for hummus, or we could obviously cook that up just for dinner. And then some microgreens. I like putting this on avocado toast. Danny's not gonna like this. He always gets mad when I buy meat because we have a freezer full of it, but this is ground turkey. And I have this um, like turkey meatballs that are kind of a meal prep thing in mind. So this is mainly just gonna be for me. And then lastly, over behind us, I have, I'll show you. Don't mind the laundry all over our table. I have like little herbs that I keep right there and I feel like they're just not looking so hot. Besides my oregano right on the corner, everything else, uh, the rosemary might be okay, but everything else is kind of struggling because it's winter and so um, it's really hard to find any new herbs right now. But Trader Joe's surprised me and they had basil, which I have a really hard time keeping basil alive. I've had it twice and I can do it for a bit and then it just croaks. So I'm gonna try again. This is thyme, same thing. I kept my thyme 
good for a while and then it just died on me. So I'm gonna try it again. I got some sage. These are like 150 or maybe $2. Very, very cheap at Trader Joe's. And then I got these little things. I just thought these were so cute. And I just got three of those heart-shaped ones because I just love them. And that is it. So I'm just gonna plant and hang out the rest of the day. So we will pick back up tomorrow when I'm home alone and we'll make our vision board and meal prep and all of that. <laughs> coach a life coaching call we always have a call on Sundays so I kind of woke up had some coffee with Danny enjoyed myself then I did that and now here we are my camera is at like six percent so I'm really hoping I can do this real quick before I charge it basically I got home yesterday from running errands <laughs> and Danny was like all this came for you I was like shit I hate when everything comes when I'm not here he just you know, he already thinks I shop too much, but I just thought I'd open it. It's just like Amazon and Target stuff. I think I'm gonna save, hi Gracie. I think I'm gonna save the vision board for a separate video, so stay tuned. But um, I just feel like it'll be too long if I try to include that. Anyways, let's get started. Ooh, so the first thing are scrunchies, but the reason I liked these is because they were a little bit different colors than I have. They're more like spring-like. Like this one's a pale yellow. How cute is that? Baby blue, some navy, an olive. I don't have an olive one. Hang on, Grace. This was one of the reasons I ordered this, like a sagey green kind of sage, not olive. Pink and coral. So those are so cute. I love getting hair accessories on Amazon. They're so cheap. Next, if these are what I think they are, you need them in your life. I think I've talked about these in a favorites video. I got three black ones this time, but I also got a pack last time. Gracie, hang on, baby boo. She wants to go outside and I'm like, I have 6%, hang on. My last pack I ordered of these is gray, white, and black. So they come in a, a few different options, but these are just silky smooth, long tank tops. So I love this for when I want to wear like my Spanx leggings, but my sweater or my shirt isn't quite long enough and I don't want my ass hanging out just in Spanx leggings, you know? Like you can wear them, but they're not pants and I feel like I have a big butt, but I feel like I need a little coverage. And so this just gives you like a little extra layering tank top. Next, this is from Target and I think it's a workout bra if I remember. Yes, I ordered um, a little set. The pants aren't here yet, but it matches this. Oh wait, these are the pants, cool, so you can see it better. I got these, like I said, from Target, and I saw them in the store the other day, but they didn't have my size. I like to wear a medium in these. They're like navy to purple, super cute, so I got the matching bra. I just love getting new workout gear when I'm trying to work out more, because I feel like it motivates me, and the stuff at Target is so affordable mm -hmm. that you don't feel like you're breaking the bank. Hang on, boo. She's high maintenance. This is a thrifted find from Instagram. And this girl actually lives in the town I work in. I just feel like I want to support her shop even more because she's local. Y'all know I love thrift. I love thrifting. Look how cute she wraps her stuff. I can't even remember what I bought. Isn't that terrible? I just love stacking these. Um, I want to make a mirror wall. I think I told you guys this is her little card. It's so cute. But I want to make a mirror wall eventually. But right now I'm just stacking these on my shelves above my TV with plants. And they look so pretty. Just like a little mirror collage. Ooh, I'm excited. This is an incense holder. I already have one downstairs. But I like to burn incense upstairs when I'm taking a bath. My camera died. I had to charge it. I changed it to com more comfies. <laughs> just not in a robe. And I got another package. Oh my god. While my camera was charging. So we'll open it. I don't even know what it is. Anyway. When my camera died, I was showing you guys, this is just an instant holder. And honestly, I don't know how this goes together. I think you can just set it like that and put your instance in it or set it like that. I have to look back at the Amazon thing, but I liked how this was like a big tray. And then I am so excited. I've wanted this for a minute and I have, I know I've showed you this. In several videos I have a little latte whip that I use to foam up my coffee this is the real deal this is an actual frother you pour your milk in here and you froth it up and you pour it on top I actually bought this obviously for coffee I love the white color but I bought this for matcha which I believe my matcha 
kit is here too. I went to World Market to buy a matcha kit because I always see them there. If you want to go shopping in real life instead of on Amazon, you can get them there, but they were completely sold out from Christmas. The girl was like, oh yeah, those are all gone. You guys, I have a shopping problem. Oh, here it is, this is it. Look how beautiful. My life coach that I tell you guys about all the time made a little reel on how she makes her matcha and I've been wanting to try matcha anyway, so her little video definitely inspired me. I think I tried a matcha latte from Starbucks a million years ago and didn't like it, so I definitely want to try again. This cute bowl. It came with this scoop, which you take your matcha out with this, pour it in your little sifter to get the, you know, any like clumps out. And then, gosh, I'm so excited to use this. And then you use this little brush, I'll take it out later, but you, you know, go in here and you whip your matcha. And then this guy, which is so cute, is um, for this to sit on it, like a form, so it doesn't get messed up, because I believe this is bamboo. So that's the whole little kit, I am so excited. Oh my I'm like so embarrassed almost that I have all this crap I've ordered. I can't even remember what it is. I feel like it was because after Christmas, like during Christmas, I wasn't shopping at all for myself. So then after I'm like, ah, I have to. Champagne problems. This is a cardigan from Amazon. I love Amazon sweaters, cardigans, because they're always so affordable. I bought this kind of like blue green color. I love wearing green now that my hair is copper. I just think it's flattering and I don't really have a ton that's this color. Waffle knit kind of looking um, cardigan with pockets and it's really long. I just thought that looked so cozy. It comes in a ton of colors. Guys, this one, I can wear this with this scrunchie. I love matchy stuff. Okay, now let's open <laughs> the unknown box that I literally have no idea what it is. I've got a cook. It's almost like one o'clock. I feel like since it's Sunday, yeah, it's one o'clock. Gotta get going. This is from FabFitFun. Oh my gosh. What is this? How cool. It looks so pretty. I don't even know what it is yet, but I love it. We've enclosed a sneak peek of beauty products and spring add-ons that you can share with your followers. Also encourage them to keep an eye out for the spring box spoilers coming out next week. You guys, literally when FabFitFun emailed me, like a little part of me died and went to heaven inside because like it has been my goal since last year. I'm literally staring at my vision board to like make a little bit of a career. I have always like preface it with a little bit because I think that I'm just scared inside that I'm never going to like make a living off of YouTube. I've been doing YouTube six years and I'm just gonna be a whole, like 100% honest with you guys. I make like on a good month, maybe a couple hundred dollars from YouTube. Like I don't make money doing social media really. I wanna be transparent, I don't think I'm, not allowed to tell you guys. 50 bucks, 100 bucks, or commission. Like you'll make 10% of whatever people come and shop. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. My point is FabFitFun is like one of the larger brands that's ever reached out to me. And it kind of sucks because I feel like I don't get that much engagement with my um, post about FabFitFun, which bums me out in general because I love them and I just want you guys to experience it too. So I just like, now that I just got another box from them, like, okay, they do appreciate me. And like, they have me on their little mailing list still because I thought, I don't know if I sent one person their way. I have no idea. Hey guys, if I look crazy, I've had this dark lip on for a while, so you know how that can go. Hopefully it's not like all over my teeth or something. Anyways, it is already the following Sunday. Time is flying so fast. So when I was meal prepping, I had had way too much caffeine. I felt like I was all over the place. And it was my first time meal prepping in a really long time. And so I felt like I just kind of was like not doing it right. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I get a little in my head. Let me set this down somewhere. Where can I set you? Sorry, it is a mess in my kitchen. I need to clean. Sometimes I just get a little bit in my head because it's like beauty is my thing. Um, like maybe, you know, clothes and decorating, but I feel like even with decorating, I'm like, I'm not an authority on the topic. If you want to listen to me, cool, let's hang out. But I'm just a chick trying to decorate her house over here. Like with beauty, I feel like since I have my cosmetology license and I'm a makeup artist and I actually have worked in the industry, like I know what I'm talking about. So I'm really confident in that. But with food, it's like, 
I like to eat and I like to cook, but I'm not like super great at, you know, nutritional stuff. So anyways, let me know if you do wanna see that video, I will make one for you because now that I've gone through my week eating what I meal prepped last weekend, I can already see things I wanna improve. Like I wanna add more of this and I wanna take away that. So just that might be me personally, but I feel like I can give a little bit more tips anyways for next time. So if I make a video is my point. Like if I were to do it again, I think I could do it better anyways. So I decided not to include that part in the vlog. I hope you guys don't mind. Let me know if you wanna see it. I feel like I've already rambled. I've had a little too much coffee today too. <laughs> I just got done making my vision board reel for Instagram for um, this year's vision board. And so I think I'm just on a little high from that. Like I'm really excited about the year and excited for what's to come. So let me know what you guys wanna see next. I feel like I said that sentence weird. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. I will see you guys soon and thank you so much for watching. Watching.